Okay, in this video, what I'm going to show you is how to take the output file generated by Idrisi's profile function, profile over space, and bring that into Microsoft Excel and produce a graph. So I've got Excel up and running, and I've already run the profile function in Idrisi, and I've output that to a file that I need to open. So you go to File and go to Open. Now you need to go to the folder where Idrisi would have saved the output file to. And that, remember, is always the main working folder that you set up, that you nominate in Idrisi. So in my case it's a folder on the C drive called Energy. So I need to go so my C drive and there's a folder called energy. Now you won't see anything because by default Idrisi is looking for, or rather Excel is looking for all Excel files. So you need to change that. So you need to click here where it says all Excel files and select all files. You'll probably see other files in there as well, the, the Idrisi files themselves, but I've already deleted those. So I'm just left with the .ipf file. Now for this example it's actually the uh, radiance sampled along the transect line uh, in Namibia that I'm using as an example and it's for the month of December so it's called DEC Pro. So I highlight that and I click on open. Now by default because it's a text file Excel comes up with an import wizard. Uh, now the first four lines of an Idrisi profile output file is essentially garbage. Um, it does contain information for other functions in Idrisi to use, but we're not, we don't actually need that information. So the first four rows we can ignore. So where it says start import at row, wind that up to five. So we're actually importing only from the fifth onwards because the first four we can't use. We also need to select fixed width. So you need to change that from the default of delimited. When you've done that, you just click on finish. And now we've got two columns. The two columns are of the actual data that Idrisi created when it produced the profile. Now the first column, column A, is our distance along the transect line that we created in Idrisi with the on-screen digitize function. And we can't use that data because it, it uses fractions of degrees of latitude and we want kilometers. So I'm going to get rid of that column. So highlight column A at the top and then right hand mouse button and select delete. Now what we're left with is just the one column and that contains the pixel values uh, along our transect line. Uh, but by default Idrisi saves the data in what we call uh, scientific notation where it's got this E it's 1.48 times 10 to the 2 or to the power 2. Now we want to actually change that to normal integer values. So I need to highlight all the values in that column by clicking on the A here at the top. And then right hand mouse click again. This time I'm going to format cells. Then I select number. And I don't want any decimal places so I need to just wind that down to 0. And then click on OK. So now this column A contains the raw pixel values generated by Idrisi. And in my case, this example, it's a profile uh, going from the north of Namibia to the south of Namibia and its radiance. I also want to include distance in kilometers. Now, when you were doing the practical, you should have had some kind of record of the latitude and the longitude values of the beginning and end of your transect line. So when you go to the internet, you need to go to a website called gpsvisualizer.com and you need to click on the calculators link and it's the calculate the great circle distance between two points function. So you just give it the latitude and longitude separated by a comma of the first point of the transect line and of the second point of your transect line and then click on distance and it gives you the distance in kilometers. Now I've already done that and I know that the total length 
along my transect line is 1,263 kilometers. So what I now need to do is to work out what the distance along a single pixel is. So I need to divide the total distance by the number of pixels. Well, how do I know the number of pixels? Well, I scroll down to the bottom and I see here that the last value is cell 243. So there are 243 pixels along my transect line and my transect line gpsvisualizer.com tells me is 1,263 kilometers. So all you do is divide the distance by the number of pixels and in my case I get a value of 5.19 uh, kilometers per pixel. It'll be different for you so don't just use the same value as me calculate it. It could come out at around 7 kilometers per pixel. So to actually create my distance column uh, the beginning of my transect of course is 0 kilometers because I haven't gone anywhere in the first pixel. Then I need to insert a formula into the second row and for this I need to start with an equals and it's equal to the value before plus 5.19 in my case but again your value will be different so uh, equals this value plus 5.19 and I click on the tick. Now I could keep adding that formula all the way down and it would be very tedious and take a long time but luckily there's a function in Excel called autofill and to use autofill I move the mouse pointer to the bottom right of this cell and you see it changes from a big fat plus to a thin plus and when it turns to a thin plus I click the left hand mouse button and keep the button down and then drag all the way to the bottom to my last row of data and then let go so now Excel has inserted that formula all the way down and so this is the distance in kilometers and again I want to reformat that into whole numbers so I need to click on B to select all the data then right click with the right hand mouse button and select format cells then select number and wind the number of decimal places down to zero and then OK. So the first column contains my radiant pixel values along the transect line. The second column contains the distance along that line in kilometers. So now I want to create a graph. So the first thing I need to do is to highlight the data that I want to create the graph for, which is all the pixel values. When I've done that, I just go to the insert tab, choose line graph and just the basic first option and that creates a line graph for me. Now I don't want it dumped here on the spreadsheet with my, my numbers, I want it in a separate uh, tab. So on the, the upper right here it says move chart location. I'm actually going to say put that in a new sheet called chart1 and then click on OK. So now I'm only looking at the charts and I haven't got any data to distract me. First thing I can do is just get rid of this series 1 because I don't need that anymore. What it's done is it started the y-axis at 0 which it often does by default and that's no good for us because the data you can see is all squashed up here. So in fact looking at this I can rescale the y-axis from 140 to 190. So to do that I just double click anywhere here on the y-axis values and where it says axis options, minimum, maximum, I'm going to change that from auto to fixed. So I'm going to change it from 140 to 190 and then click on close. So now it's rescaled the y-axis so that I can see the data in the chart much more easily. Now at the moment it's still got just these generic numbers along the bottom axis which I need to, to, to tell a GC, uh, sorry to tell Excel that I want the distance in kilometers. So to do that I click on select data. Then where it says horizontal category which is the x-axis category I click on edit. Then I switch back to my numbers 
and I need to highlight all the cells in the column which is distance in kilometers and then just click on OK so now you see that the numbers along the x-axis are actually distance in kilometers now I need to add some titles here and, and dress this up a little bit uh, so one of the things that I can do is click on the layout button here under chart tools and select axis titles so I'll give the horizontal axis first which is the x-axis and I'm going to change that uh, and I'm going to type in um, distance in kilometers then I need to input a title here for the y-axis which is the in my case in this example radiance I go back to axis titles and this time I choose vertical and I'm going to choose rotated so that it turns it, uh, the text around by 90 degrees and I'm going to change this now to radiance pixel value okay so now I've labeled my axes I've rescaled the axes I've put the data for distance in kilometers along the x-axis so now all I need is a title. So I'm going to choose a centered title and I'm going to call this uh, Radiance and then in brackets North to South December 1995. You can see that the grid lines at the top here are in the way slightly so I just need to highlight that and then drag it down so it's below the text and that's it my, my graph is actually finished at this point uh, so if I want to put this into Microsoft Word uh, all I would need to do is click on the edge of it to highlight it and go to home and click on copy then I go into my Word document and rather than just clicking on paste what you want to do is select paste special and select picture enhanced metafile and then click on OK and so there's my graph now uh, in my Microsoft Word document and that's pretty much it you could if you wanted to uh, because you've already gone to the trouble now of creating the, uh, the, the distance in kilometers this column here you can just keep right clicking and going insert as many times as you want and then if you've got other data from Idrisi, other output profile data files, you can just paste them in here and just reuse this column so you don't have to keep producing it each time. And that's it.